people, welcome back to more Manson. It is your boy Manson, man. We're about to be checking out. <sighs> Yo, this is why. I, when I heard about this, bro, I didn't think it was real until somebody showed me the video. I seen, I seen some of the videos. I was like, bro, there's no way. So we had to go ahead. I had to go ahead and react to it on the channel and talk to you guys about this. This is Zanele Sifuba tape with a Nigerian. So apparently what I, what I know from this right now currently is that uh, she is part of the ANC. She is part of the ANC, and you know what I'm saying. I don't know if they actually physically done anything in person, but this was over uh, over like a FaceTime call. You know what I'm saying. She was doing what she was doing. He was doing what he was doing, and it was recorded apparently. And I think he he said that if he doesn't give if she doesn't give him three hundred thousand, then he would you know what I'm saying leak the tape. Like it was just gonna he was just gonna put it out there. So apparently, I mean, she didn't pay up, and that's what he did. So, you know what I'm saying? We're about to go ahead and check out this video so we can get some more information. Y'all new here, smash the seven like video. Let's get it. I don't know what to say. I found this video very sinful. The link to this video is in the description, man. And I hope the person behind this video will be brought to book. What's going on? I also to her? think like, is she get fired? that people of South Africa should learn to respect and appreciate women. Even if this is true, this woman is a human being. She also has right to enjoy herself. It doesn't matter if she's a speaker or if she's a president or if she's a minister. This is not the first time we saw a scandal regarding those kind of videos. We already see a minister doing it, not only in South Africa, but in many countries. So this video right now is true. going viral all over the internet. So according to what people are saying, the video, was taken Bruh. by no a Nigerian man who was doing a stupid tell, thing with tell my a guy woman they so said is Zanili Sifuba. They say she's a speaker of the ANC, Free State Legislative. For those who doesn't know, ANC means the African National Congress. It's a political party in South Africa. So the video was widely shared on social media. I saw the video myself. I saw the soaking video myself, okay? The video saw this man, who they say again, he's a Nigerian, and nothing have yet proof, and a woman who also, people believe, his name, Janile Sifuba. They say she's a speaker of the South African political party, ANC, for the Free State. They both was playing with yourself. In the video, I saw. And the caption of the video say that the Nigerian man was the one who made a video and he blackmailed that woman yeah, he yeah. asked her to pay around three hundred thousand or if she didn't pay he was going to post the video online and this is what he did yeah, he did it i'm not saying i only avoid to generalize in all nationality in Yo, all ethnic group they are good and bad people i feel like the thing is you should as a person with that like status like for me, example, like I wouldn't put myself in a situation where someone could potentially do this to my image. You know what I mean? I just feel like, yes, like she has the right to have fun, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, of course. But I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't put myself in a situation when it comes to uh, my image like this. I don't know. I don't know. I had good friends from South Africa and from Nigeria. There's always good and bad people. And what I can say, for sure, some Nigerians can definitely do those kind of things. Some Nigerians are known for those kind of stupidity. Some Nigerians are ready to do whatever they can to get money. I'm not saying all Nigerians. There's over 200 million Nigerians in that country. I have been to Nigeria three times, and I know how those people are good. But, of course, they got those bad 
Apple that are giving bad name to Nigerian. And the video it is shocking. We should respect woman. Even if this video is true, we should respect the privacy of this woman. She also have right. I feel like regardless of the, where he from, Nigeria, whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? A, a, nigga, a guy is going to be a guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he feels like that he could take advantage of a situation, he's going to take advantage like this guy did. You know what I mean? And not even just a guy. Any, any human being, like, you know what I'm saying? There's bad human beings. There's good human beings. You know what I'm saying? There's... People like this guy who took advantage of a situation that he was in, you know what I'm saying? And like, I feel like on her part, she slipped up. She got caught slipping, you know what I'm saying? She got caught slipping. Like I said, if that was myself, I don't feel like I would put myself in a situation to where this could even happen. You know what I mean? Yes, like I said, she deserves to, like any, everybody deserves to have freedom, have fun, blah, blah, blah. But you gotta understand like, at some point, like you're not like everyone else. Like you can't do things that everyone else you do it sometimes like sometimes you gotta be more cautious of you of what you're doing and i just feel like yeah like yes you want to blame the guy like the guy was wrong blah 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 blah, blah. but at the, at the end of the day like you have to you have to know like i don't know man like i just feel like if it was me i wouldn't put myself in that situation man to enjoy life and i hope the south african police will do whatever they can to catch the man behind of this video and i hope he will pay for it thank you for watching uh, i don't agree with that i don't agree with that i don't know it's just my opinion i don't feel like you can just put all the blame on the guy for for leaking the tape blah 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 yes it was definitely wrong like it was definitely wrong for him to leak the tape but at the end of the day man like i don't know man like she should know she shouldn't put herself in a situation with a man like that. Like, I don't know how he was talking to her. I don't know how the relationship was, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I could trust anyone like to go that deep. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. It could go both ways. Like, yes, he could be a bad person. He is a bad person for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's definitely disrespectful. And there's no, like, he had no respect for her. Obviously, he had no respect for her. Like, he was just basically probably using her for money. We don't know the history of their relationship. Like she could have been sending this guy money all the time. Like this could have been a regular thing for, for him to get money from her. You know what I mean? And this could be an instance where she refused. Like she was like, no, nah, I'm not giving you money. You know? So we don't really know like all the background. So I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Hope you guys drew my reaction, commentary. Uh, stay tuned for next year. Peace.